Good morning and welcome back to your own channel and Om Shanti, Seek the Soul that Truth Lies Within. That's the name of the channel and all those who are listening to this on Instagram and Twitter, if you don't have the link to the YouTube channel where you can explore different topics. We explore yoga asanas, flexibility, sitting on chair and doing exercises while you're working on your computer, work from home or anywhere so that you remain flexible, diet, relationships, parenting, food habits and also sleep patterns everything is covered over there and if you like any of those channels or if you like any of those different videos do leave your comment and do share it with others so let's go ahead with today's blessing 217th day of a godly blessing what does baba have to say over here baba says may you remain merged in love for the one father constantly experiencing the stage of ascent being in connection with god we ascend being in disconnection with god you see what is the condition of the world today kalyug yes kalyug is the result of our disconnection with god because those who are connected with god will have godly thoughts godly values godly virtues somebody who is in connection with satan will have ego jealousy greed lust anger but who are connected with god will have humility patience trust loyalty royalty kindness and acceptance and many more qualities godly qualities so we are disconnected with god to a certain extent the amount of peacelessness which you have is the extent of your disconnection time to get connected so baba says may you remain merged in love for the one father if you are in love with somebody you follow their habits right you copy their habits if you love somebody you copy their habits it's like you are in tune in sync what they say you say what they think you think what they speak you speak that's what god wants us to do so love with him means we change and when we change our life becomes peaceful and happier so that's the benefit constantly experiencing the stage of ascent and become an embodiment of success disconnection descent connection and love ascent that to the true connection you can only love somebody when you know who god is not just i believe in god but i know who god is is when you can love somebody right think about it so that's what we learn in brahma kumaris so let's get into the explanation the main basis of success in service service means any form of service you're serving your family you're serving the society or you're serving people in certain manner even this as a service which we are doing right now the main basis of success and service and your stage of ascent is to have unbroken love for the father in any relationship for it to continue you have to have unbroken love from both the sides god is loving us but do we love him so do not let yourself see anything except the one father if he starts seeing other things other people if you desire love from them if you desire happiness from people <coughs> or from things then the disconnection happens then ego comes then jealousy comes then hatred comes and many more things so baba says do not let yourself see anything except the one father baba in your thoughts first criteria baba in your words and baba's company in your actions too it doesn't mean that you keep on saying baba 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 from your mouth but baba in your words means he is getting it done not me i am not the one who has this knowledge i have been given this knowledge so no ego of this knowledge too so baba says then you will be doing the right karmas baba in your words and baba's company in your actions too baba should i do this like a child he will always ask his father daddy papa should i do this i am going there is it okay so we have to stop doing that with god the father yes do you realize that we don't do it because that's a sense of ego i know everything when we start doing that god should i do this god should i act like this god should i behave like this god should i speak like that then all our karmas will be refined and that's the method for liberation so god says when a soul is merged in love when a soul merged in love says even one word then the words of love tie other souls in the bond of love too when you're speaking about your relations with other people i mean you talk about your wife or your of your of your husband and you talk to somebody about your beautiful relationship with them the other person feels the love they also feel like oh i should change my relationship with my own spouse 
or in many other things with your parents as a child it could be any relationship don't you feel that that love has to be felt your godly love has to be felt not just spoken about so god says the one word baba from such souls merged in love works like magic they become spiritual magicians so you can actually change somebody's life by exhibiting love not showing it through your actions only but showing it through your words and your thoughts also so if you want your family to change connection with god is very important because people should believe in you see the right in you if you have got ego or jealousy nobody is going to listen to you nobody is going to listen to me so god wants us to be connected to him so that we remove jealousy love hatred competition comparison and many more things so that we become a symbol of god and other people can then follow us and change their lives for the better you can be shouting about changing somebody's life change yourself don't do it like this don't be like this god says change yourself let them see that you are a symbol so you become a symbol being a parent you can become a symbol for your children being a husband you can become a symbol for your wife and then they can follow you so don't ask them to change don't force them to change change yourself so and if you have love for god you will surely do so but for that you have to develop love for god and to develop love for god as we have understood who is god the world believes in god but who is god what is his form what is his name where does he live he is an entity too right he is a living being not a human he doesn't have a body but he is a living being so a being should have a name we cannot say he she because being a soul is genderless so god some religion say he is a father some religion say he is a creator so what exactly or who exactly is he right now we think of him as what exactly is he but who exactly is he where does he stay how to connect him everything has to be learned to develop a loving relationship with that entity or with that person right so here the also information is important about who god is hinduism so many gods whom to love christianity god is light but light means which light this bulb light which light where is he right allah e noor means light but which light fire light sun god fire god so many different religions have so many things but he has an entity he has a name he has a place where is he when we learn that then only the loving relationship can be created otherwise it's just in your belief only right so knowing is believing believing leads to knowing but take the first step to know right so that's what we learn at prama kumaris have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti